Welcome back to another RPG Architect tutorial. Today we're going to show text in your game. So with that said, let's get started. All right, so in this project, we're going to have this entity show a message. So I'm going to delete this and we're going to add a message display static message. Now there's going to be a couple more things to set up, but I just wanted to show this command and what we need. So the first thing we're going to notice is we need a message template. And right now we don't have any, so we're going to need to figure that one out. And then the second thing is we're just going to type in the text real quick that we want to say. And we're going to leave the header blank and the portrait blank. This is just going to be a static message. So we're going to put the command in here and then I'm going to just hit OK. And now we're going to move on to the next thing that we got to do. So I'm going to hit F8. We're going to go down into user interface and select user interface. This is where you set up your text boxes and all kinds of user interfaces that you'll have, your menus, your battle menus, etc. I'm going to resize this to 10 because we're going to need quite a bit for a project. And the first one is just going to be called a text box. And then I'm just going to say default. You could also say like text box simple. And this is just in case you have any other templates that you want to use throughout your thing. It's going to be a message box. And then we're going to come down here and some of these settings we'll get to here in a bit. And from here, we're going to start setting up our UI. So I'm going to add two elements. I'm going to add a pane, and then I'm going to add a text. And I added the text last because everything on the bottom is going to show above the stuff above it. So this text will show above the pane because the pane is first out. So just know that there is an ordering just like this. Now, the first thing is, is we're going to start to add a pane. We can maximize this to show more of the settings. And now we're going to start adding our thing. So this is going to be called the background of the text box. And we're going to add a background here. And in order to do that, we got to add one in the UI folder. And really, it can be in any folder. But I just like how it auto populates to the UI folder. So I'm just going to add it in the folder that it wants. So I'm going to go into my folders here, drag this over here. And I have a window right here. I'm going to cut it. Go to my project UI folder and paste it in there. So now when I go to select it, we will have a text window. I'm going to hit OK. And there is our text window. Now, when you first add your text window, if this is your first time doing a project and you haven't updated any editor settings, you may not, you won't see this uh, line that I have here, these red lines, which this red line is showing what the actual resolution is. So what the window is and how this pane looks against the window. So right now you can see that it takes up the full window. Now, if you don't have these lines, I'm just going to hit OK real quick. You're going to go to editor, editor settings, edit settings. You're going to go down here. You're going to change the border color. And then you're going to provide a border thickness. And when you do that, you can go back to your user interface. You should now see a border like I do in mine. And this is going to help as we position this. So we're going to grab this element right here and we're going to go all the way down. Well, actually, first off, let me just show you that right here. We have a strategy, which this is like how it is, how it is using the image. But right now it's component and this is basically nine slice. So it's slicing it perfectly and lengthening it perfectly. If you do stretch, then it's actually going to take the actual image and it's going to stretch it. So you might want stretch, you might want nine slice. I know nine slices works, looks really nice. And so I'm just going to do that. And then we're going to come down here to the positions. Now we need a uh, relative width. So if this is the start of my screen and this is the end of my screen, I want it just a little bit in. So I'm going to uh, just select on this and I'm going to use my up and down arrow keys to actually uh, move the the width percentage. I find that that's like a really easy way to do it. You could also type in whatever, but um, this seemed to work for me. And then we so we took the width down to 90% instead of 100. And now we need to move the X out to make the gap even between. So basically an easy way to think about this is that you have the width of it's 90% now. So you lost 10%. Well, half of 10% is 5%. So you just go to relative X and you would just go up to five. 
and that is going to split the difference. You're splitting the difference between the remaining percentage of the relative width. So the next thing to do is to do the height. So we'll just kind of make it a little smaller. And then the next thing to do would be to move the relative W. And again, using the up and down on the arrow keys with this setting, with the mouse cursor on the setting, it's just the easiest way that I've found to do it. So I'll just make a gap right there, maybe a little bit more down like that. And that looks good. And so with that, we can now move to the text. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to name it text. And I'm going to keep the color and all this stuff. Now this is the actual text that you want. Now one thing that is um, pretty interesting is that this isn't the text that's going to be displayed in the game. It's just text that you're testing with. So I'm just going to make a bunch of dots here. And then we'll, I'll show you why. All right. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to up the uh, font. Let's go to about 30. And then I'm going to go down here, which is where we're going to move uh, the X and the Y. So now I'll just do this. And then the Y, we'll bring it over here. All right. And now you can see that we have these periods that kind of extend outside the box. So what we're going to do is we're going to adjust the width. We're going to bring it down. And you can see that it's adjusting now the width. And there we go. Now let's look at the height. So I'm going to add a little bit more periods here until it gets below the bottom most part of the text. So right there. So I want to make sure that we go above probably these next two lines. I'll just have it be one, two, three, four, five lines long. And then I'll go down here. And now we're going to adjust the height. So I'm going to select it and press the down arrow until we get to this line right here. So there, okay, right there, perfect. And then the last thing that I'm going to do is just adjust the relative Y. And right there looks good. And maybe one more, nope, right there. Okay, perfect. All right, so now we have the text, the, the width and the height set, the background width and the height set and the position. And we got this nice border to show us exactly where it's going to be on our screen. The last thing to do is in the message box here, we're going to click on the body type and we're going to click text. And now we can click OK, go back to our entity and select our text box. Hit OK. And we can play test. And there is our text. So it's pretty simple and there's a lot more options. A couple that I just want to show off real quick is you have options like in the text options here, you have word wrapping, drop shadows. We could select this. Now what's something that is a little interesting is if you click on the word wrapping, the text disappears, the preview text. So just note that I'm sure that's an EA thing that will get fixed. And there's plenty more settings to go over. There's plenty more element types to go over and a lot more options for these uh, UI interfaces. But that's all that we need for this video. I just wanted to get a text up and running for you. And so hopefully this video helped. Like, subscribe if you want to see more RPG Architect content. Question, comments below, same forms will get you figured out. With that said, I'll see you at the next video.